Well, good morning, YouTube family, and howdy. It is Bolt CRNA coming to you again with another day's topic. So on Instagram the other day, someone reached out to me and said, hey, they were worried they were bombing a CRNA school exam, and they were wondering if anyone has ever come back from bombing an exam. So that kind of spun off into what was nursing school tests like and how are CRNA school tests different? And if you bomb an exam in CRNA school, can you come back from that? So today we're gonna to get into exactly how much more difficult are your exams in CRNA school. And we're gonna compare that to our nursing school exams because that's what most of you have uh, history and example to kind of compare it to. And it's also pretty difficult stuff back in nursing school, but I'm gonna tell you they're harder in CRNA school, but we're gonna talk about why. Let's get into it. So if you're in nursing school or maybe you're planning to go to nursing school or you're graduated nursing school, you have an idea of what exams are like in nursing school. They're hard, no doubt about it. They're, they're kind of world famous for being hard, but why are they hard? Nursing school exam tests are hard because there's more than one right answer. That's what they're very classically known for is asking you a question that's kind of open-ended that could have lots of different outcomes and your answer has to be the most best. Is that correct? I don't know if that's correct, the most best, the bestest. Uh, anyway, the best option that you could pick. So that becomes hard because some of the professors will ask from a, uh, I'll, let me say it like this, some professors have disagreeing opinions on what the most uh, correct answer would be. So you really had to learn. I found in nursing school, when I would be in a course, as soon as I would start learning from that teacher, I would try and understand that teacher's thought processes and their, their teaching style and what they focused on in lecture and what they thought was most important because you will find that some of their test answers would be, you know, it, you had to figure out like, what does this teacher think the best answer should be? Because if they are always stressing patient safety or something like that, then that's probably gonna be their main thing they're gonna be focusing on. Granted, in nursing, patient safety is almost always the number one thing. So safe bet, if it's on the test, if it revolves around patient safety, go for that one. But in nursing school, they, they split hairs, and so they'll have multiple answers that involve patient safety, but one of them is like gonna be the most safest out of the patient safety options. So anyway, that's what makes nursing school tests hard. You guys probably already know that. So now you're wondering, what is it about CRNA school that's so much harder? Why do people say that they, they you know, struggle to just survive CRNA school and just pass exams? Quick break here. I want to tell you guys that this video is brought to you by Western Rise. I've been wearing their pants for a few days now, and I got to tell you, their pants are versatile, comfortable, and high performance. They don't wrinkle, smell, or stain, and they stretch in every direction. It's like jeans and khaki chinos and yoga pants all into one. Let me show you. So as you can see here, they fit well. They have a, two back pockets, but one of them actually has a zipper in it. And you can put your cell phone in here. They're stretchy and comfortable. Most people are wearing pants that are designed like it's the 90s. Cotton jeans and chinos that don't stretch, they rip, they wear out, they look bad over time after you wash them. These are even water and stain resistant, and I'll show you. It just beads right off of them. And like I mentioned, there's a really cool pocket in the front for your cell phone and a secret zip pocket in the back pocket for your wallet. And I, like everybody else, checks out online reviews to make sure about a product first. So they have 5,000 five-star reviews, so go check those out. And the durable material means that they're gonna last you a lifetime. They have a lifetime warranty on them. Because Western Rise is so confident you're gonna like these, they let you try them for seven days for free. You can pick any of the colors and sizes out on the website, have it shipped to you. You only get charged if you keep it. Make sure and use the link and the discount code in the box here. As I'm getting older, I'm realizing I don't want 50 different pairs of pants and 50 different shirts and 50 different stuff to keep up with. I want a handful of good quality items that I know that are going to last me long term, that I'm comfortable in, that I like the fit of. These are one of those. I think you should give it a shot. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to westernrise.com slash boltrnbsn. Again, that is westernrise.com slash boltrnbsn and use the code boltrnbsn on the website. 
The link will be in the description below. Now back to the wonderful topic of how terrible exams are in CRNA school and why they're so much harder than most things that you've probably experienced. Up until this point in your training and education, you have probably experienced a um, method of learning where you're approaching a wide swath of information and you're trying to get a decent understanding, especially in nursing school, when they're throwing so many different things at you. You're doing pediatrics, then you're doing OB, then you're doing psych, then you're doing pharmacology, and you're doing a lot of different topics. And they're not asking you to become masters of these topics. They're asking you to understand the topics uh, for the most part and understand how it implements into healthcare and how you should be able to make a lot of different decisions based off this information and for the safest decisions for your patients. So they're not asking you to rewrite the wheel or anything with it. But once you start CRNA school, they're not asking you to understand the basic idea of a concept anymore. They're asking you to master that concept. They're asking you to understand molecularly what's going on with that concept and to go deeper and deeper and deeper into it and critical think with that concept so that if they go on an exam, and this is what will happen, they will go onto an exam with you and they'll, um, they'll start discussing a topic that you know you touched on in lecture or was in the book, but it will be something very different from what you actually, like the, the scenario or the type of way that you approach the topic in lecture. They'll ask you very different situations or scenarios or even some of the context will be totally different in an exam question and they will expect that you have mastered the information on that topic so much so that they can remove all the context around it that you originally learned it through and you can still come up with the correct answer and the right result. Now, I'm going to let that just sink in for a minute because that can be kind of tricky to understand if you've not had kind of learning or exams like that before where they talk about something in lecture you even read about it in books or in whatever material you're studying with, but then you get on the exam and uh, the best way I try and relate this to people, so it's kind of simple broke down, is say you study A and B in class and in home and all that, and then on the exam they start with A and B, but then they jump to F and they're, for the answer on the exam you need to be able to get to F. And to even get to F, you have to have mastered A and B so much and built on that information that you can understand C, D, and E so that you can then get to the correct answer of F. And there's not really any partial answers. That's another difficult portion is um, really it's, it's like you either got it right or you got it wrong. Like there isn't any um, partial credit. A lot of test questions in CRNA school will be select all that apply. The reason they do that is because it makes it very difficult. Well, one of the reasons they do that is because on boards they do that. There's lots of select all that apply for boards, so they want to prepare you for that. But another reason, the reason boards does it, is because it tests if you truly have mastered something. Because if they give you a question and they ask you about maybe some kind of physiological response or something going on and they give you A, B, C, and D, you can probably out of those four maybe guess the correct answer. What is it, 25% chance statistically that you would just guess the right answer? Well, they don't want you guessing anything. They want to know that you know that you know that you know it. So they will give you questions with answers of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And from that, they will say, hey, I want you to select all that's true here. And if you don't understand the concept 100%, they will trip you up because they will have all of these answers will be somewhat moderately correct. There might be one or two distractors, but most of them will be very correct. They'll ask you to select three that's like the exactly correct thing that will give you the right answer. But if you don't know those exact three of the most you know, accurate description of what the test question is asking you about and you answer and you select four options because the fourth one also was in the book and was also something that was there, but slightly off from what they're asking you for, the whole question's wrong. Uh, you got the whole thing wrong because of that. So that's another really tricky thing about CRNA school is that's very common for them to do select all that apply. If you select one too many or one too few out of the select all that apply and they're all gonna be pretty accurate like all the answers are going to be pretty tough where you're going to really have to know it to, uh, to get it correct if you could do anything off that the question's wrong 
and you failed that question. You may have, I, we had exams all the time that were 30, 32 questions, maybe sometimes less than 30 questions. And a lot of them were select all that apply like that. So if you miss a handful of those, you're bombing that test. Like you're already going downhill, even if you get everything else correct and you miss three or four of those, you're, you're getting significant points off of your exam. Which also brings me to the point of number three, why CRNA school is much harder and the exams are much more intense, is because you have to make a B or higher to pass the course. In nursing school, you can make a C and still, I mean, there used to be that old adage that was funny that we used to say C equals degree or whatever. Um, that is accurate in nursing school. In CRNA school, C equals you're out of the program, go find a different career. There is no time, you don't, they don't allow you to retake a course, they don't allow you to come back and retry next year, they don't allow you to do any of that. You're pretty much tainted goods, you're not going to get into another program essentially. I don't know of anyone who's ever been able to get into another program after being dismissed. And, um, and so yeah, pretty much you ever make a B, and I don't mean a B on, or, or less than a B on one single test, I mean your course average by the time when you take finals at the end of the semester, if it's less than a B, you're out of the program. And that happened to some friends of mine. And, uh, and, and they work as ICU nurses to this day. So I'm just telling you, in, in school, with your exams in CRNA school, the intensity, the stress level is much higher and the um, mercy is much less. Like they're, they're, you can't make a C. So if you're going in taking an exam and you miss a handful of questions, you're, and you already know you're missing them, you can already tell that like you're not you don't remember the answers to this and you're starting to do poorly, you are gonna really start to panic. It's kind of like a mental mind game where you start to really sweat bullets and start to get anxious and start considering like, what if my future career is totally off? Like, what if I never become a CRNA because of this? I could be out of the program. And realistically, it can happen. So it is, it is like a true situation you have to worry about. So those kinds of exams, the level of intensity and stress that go along with them, much, much more intense than my nursing school exams. Now, the other part to the question they were asking me on Instagram, this particular student was worried because she was in first semester and she had bombed one of her exams. And by the way, bombing an exam in CRNA school means less than like an 83. You made less than an 83 on an exam in CRNA school, that's a bomb. Like you are in trouble. Like you're in risk of not graduating or passing that class. I, um, I, I told her like, hey, don't worry, you can come back from this. Actually, I did a poll on my Instagram of, of other people saying, if you were in CRNA school or you are a CRNA, did you ever bomb an exam? And granted, I, a 76, I, I'm calling it bombing. So if you've ever done that when you were in CRNA school, were you, ever, were you able to come back from that? Were you able to score higher on your next ones and bring yourself up and graduate? Or did you, you know, fail out of your program? Uh, and there was a resounding amount of people who said, yes, I did at least one time do very poorly on an exam. And yes, I was able to pull myself up out of it. So that's the silver lining behind all of this. You can make a bad score in CRNA school and that's okay. No one's expecting you to be perfect. I made a 67 on one of my exams once, which is a very, that's like, scary bombing. I actually was afraid I would fail out of the program after I made that uh, score and that exam. Uh, and that's a whole long story why that happened. You can come back from it. You will have to work intensely hard. I think for the second, in the, we only have three, we, we had three exams in each course that, that determined our overall total grade. And that's all you had. Three exams, that was all that went to your total grade. There was no, there was no bonus work. There was no extra papers you could write. There was no extra tests you could take, nothing. So you had three exams, you bomb any one of those, you're, you're very hot water, you may fail the program now, especially if you made a 67 like I did, because to graduate that class, to pass it, you had to make a B or higher. So to pull an average when you have three exams totaling it, and one of them's a 67, and you have to have an 80 or higher to graduate that class, um, you know, you really had to pull out all the stops. So, and you already have to study like 70 hours a week to make, you know, a poor grade on an exam. So I had to, I had to study probably like, a hundred hours a week for months on the next couple exams and I was intensely stressed to um, to keep up with the coursework in that in that classroom 
but it taught me an important lesson to never take content for granted, to never think an exam is gonna be easy, to never think that you pretty much have the material down and you don't need to study that extra, you know, couple hours that night or whatever. Never do that in CRNA school. That taught me that lesson and, and I learned it the hard way. Well, all right guys, that was my discussion about the difference in nursing school exams versus CRNA school exams, why CRNA school exams are different, why they're harder in my opinion. But I wanna hear from you guys. Were your nursing school exams hard? Did you think they were easy? Some people have told me they thought nursing school was easy. I did not think nursing school was easy at all. But, and it, you know, in context, once you go to CRNA school, you realize there are things much harder than that. So, I wanna hear from you guys. What did you think was harder? Nursing school, CRNA school? Were the exams that difficult for you in CRNA school or did you breeze through them? Maybe you're like a miracle baby and you just are genius and you know everything. I, I wish that I did, but I definitely didn't. If you're interested in getting into CRNA school, if this horrible topic that's stressful has piqued your interest and you said, I wanna sign up for that right there, uh, join the memberships. I I offer the membership plan for you guys because it's designed to help you get into CRNA school. I want to help you do that. I want to give you mock interviews and study guides and I want to prepare you so you can get into CRNA school one day. So follow the link over there on the memberships tab. If you are not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe every week, every Monday I release a new video. So come on back every week, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out with the channel and the algorithm and all that. Same for that like button. Smash that like button guys. If you don't hit the like button, YouTube figures nobody wants this video nobody likes this content and doesn't suggest it to anybody and then I cry and then I quit YouTube so hit the like button for me guys and otherwise that is bolt out